You guys asked the question today, are the New York Knicks the worst franchise in sports right now? I do agree with Stephen A. Smith. Absolutely not. They're not the worst franchise in sports right now. But Stephen A. Smith, our New York Knicks are the NBA remix version of Accident Waiting to Happen. Pains me to even admit something like this. But why do I even bring something like this up? Let's go back to 1973. I wasn't even born yet. The last time the Knicks won an NBA championship. And there, that's a big red flag already before we even get started. Okay, well, 10 years, not even 10 years later, we get Bernard King, who we wind up losing to a career-threatening injury. The year before, we draft Patrick Ewing. Could you imagine Patrick Ewing and Bernard King together? And then we get Mark Jackson two years later at an NBA draft. The three of them together. Rick Pitino is a coach. Ah, the accident. The accident remix in full effect, my friend. Okay, we get Pat Riley. Great things are going to happen. Great things. We take the Bulls to seven games the first year he's there. We eliminate the Detroit Pistons, who, who always give us hard times in the playoffs. We get rid of them. We're looking forward to the next season. The next season happens, then the Charles Smith under the basket happens. The accident. But I don't care what anybody says. He was hammered at least three or four different times by Pippen, Jordan, and Grant. They're not going to call a foul on any of those guys. And the Bulls go ahead and they win in six. There's the accident. Oh, wait. What happened the year after, though, with Hubert Davis got fouled by Scottie Pippen? You know what that was? That was a makeup call. Makeup call. Why was that a makeup call? Because Charles Smith was fouled under the basket. Don't care what anybody said. We would have went to the NBA Finals and beaten Phoenix that year. Wow. Well, no reason to talk about, you know, what didn't happen, but just by point, the accident. Okay, well, we get past the Bulls, then the Pacers, and go to the NBA Finals to play the Houston Rockets. We get them tied at one. We're up by two points with a little over 30 seconds to play. Why we double Akeem Olajuwon, whose tongue was hanging out because he was tired? I don't know. Left Sam Cassell wide open, hits what would be the game-winning three. They go up 2-1 instead of us going up 2-1. We didn't lose a home game the rest of the way. That means we would have won the NBA title in five. Five. Well, you go to game six, and John Starks was on fire. Could not miss. Hitting shots from the parking lot. We're down by two. If Starks hits this three, we rename Madison Square Garden John Starks Garden. MVP. He would have won MVP. Knicks would have been NBA champions. But the accident happened. Don't get me started the year after when Ewing misses the finger roll against Indiana. In game seven, another accident. We get our version of a super team. And Max brought up that we could have signed an aging Charles Barkley and Reggie Miller instead of si signing Allen Houston and Larry Johnson and Chris Childs. I like the signings we made. If we, how are you going to put Charles Oakley and Charles Barkley on the same team? You want to tell me that's going to happen? How are you going to put Reggie Miller and John Starks on the same team? How is that going to happen? So you, you've disqualified yourself, Max, on that one. You're completely, you know, completely wrong about that one. Okay, so we got our super team. We're up three games to one against the Miami Heat. And the NBA decides, decides to suspend Patrick Ewing, the great Patrick Ewing, for stepping over, off the bench, over a line. When there was a brawl going on with two players, Charlie Ward and P.J. Brown. The four guys that got suspended had nothing to do with the fight. But... The Miami Heat wound up beating a high school basketball team. They shouldn't even deserve to play the Bulls that year. We were built to beat the Bulls that year. Not saying we would have, but we had a better shot than Miami. Miami got spanked so bad that year. Okay, well, let's talk about the year after that. Accident continues. Patrick Ewing gets hurt in the beginning of the season. He breaks his wrist, and he's out for the whole season. Comes back in the playoffs. I think in the second round, we lose to Indiana, but he played hurt. Year after that, we go to the NBA Finals. We make it to the Eastern Conference Finals, and then Ewing goes down right before the NBA, NBA Finals. We could have had Ewing, Camby, Sprewell, Larry Johnson, Allen Houston, 
against David Robinson, Tim Duncan, and those guys, the Knicks would have won that series. But we wound up losing in five games, played a hard fourth series, but we were outmatched, overmanned because of their size. That wouldn't have been the case if Ewing was there. Okay, another accident. Okay, let's look what happens. A few years later, we get rid of Ewing, the franchise. Ewing is gone, and we never see the light of day ever again. That was the biggest accident. And look at all the things that happened after Ewing left. Unbelievable. We do get Amari Stoudemire and Carmelo Carm 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 Anthony. But let's look at the same time. I keep hearing everybody saying that we were supposed to get LeBron James. We didn't get him. We were pick away from Steph Curry. We didn't get him. And also, Melo winds up getting to the second round against Indiana. And I said that series, if the, all the Knicks got to do is just win their home games and we're good. We got home court. What do we do? What do we do? We go ahead and we lose game one. And we lose that series in six because we decide to lose our first home game. Now, Stephen A. Smith, just like you say about the Dallas Cowboys, who I am a Giant fan, so I, I love it. I love it. Anything can go wrong, will go wrong. And that's how I feel about the Knicks, unfortunately. I don't know if you feel the same way. I don't feel like they're the worst franchise in sports. But I do feel like they are the remix version of Accident Waiting to Happen. This has been Jake Papalardo, and that was my take and rant for the day.